Hello, this is Kathleen and this is my suggestion video for some advanced techniques you can do for explant self-massage. So first I'll say explant self-massage should be done in between your professional massages. If you have any questions, you can ask at your professional massages with your massage therapist, hey, how should I use this tool? to get a more customized idea of what works best for you if these techniques will not seem to be working for you. These are not the only techniques. These are just one suggested technique. And of course, they're not going to work for everyone in every circumstance. What they are is part of this explant self-massage rubric. If you want a copy of this sheet so you can fill it out and keep a record of what you're doing for your explant self-massages, the link to that is going to be in the description box. And these advanced techniques are in the middle of this rubric. So before you do the advanced techniques, you'll want to do some warming techniques some manual lymphatic drainage before you get into more advanced techniques. And information about the tools that I'm gonna show you is going to be in my other video, which will show you all the possible tools that you can use. This is more of a nuts and bolts techniques video. So we're gonna be looking at four different techniques. Um, one, vibration. We're going to look at roller massage. We're going to look at instrument-assisted soft tissue mobilization. And then we're going to look at using vibration to help the lymphatic fluid move towards the axilla. So we're going to use one of the tools that I like. Um, this is a lactation massager. So you charge it up and then you click the button for three seconds and it starts vibrating. It has three different ways you can use it. You can use the flat part as vibration. You can use this little nub as more focused vibration. And then it has a little scoop here where you can do a little scooping uh, technique if you wanted to use a scoop plus vibration. We're also going to look at this rolling massager. This is also lactation rolling massager and it has um, some rolling balls that you can use for massage. It also has a handle and this is detachable if you want it to be detachable. And this has again a little scoop that you can use for the instrument assisted soft tissue mobilization. So you do not have to buy any tools to do self-massage. I am showing you these tools because some people who have breast implant illness have joint pain. And if you have joint pain in your hands, it can be hard just the same as it's we feel the pain as massage therapists if we're getting in and doing massage for a while every day. So to help cut down on potential joint pain in the hands, I am showing you some adaptive techniques you can use with tools. But again, tools are not necessary. And you can buy these online, but you can also ask a friend, ask someone who's recently weaned their child or is breastfeeding or has several children, if they have these in a box somewhere that you can just borrow them. So let's start with vibration. Um, an interesting way that you can use vibration is just to let it sit here in the armpit and help um, move and have some vibration over the areas of the lymph nodes. This is uh, where your lymph nodes will be. The majority of the lymph nodes that serve the um, breast tissue are going to be in this area and we can just do some vibration or some vibration or gentle movement in the armpit area. We can also use um, the nub on some scar tissue. And how we can use the nub is it like a lot of people will have a little bit of scar tissue right here. Um, you can start with just do, putting pressure on the area where there's scar tissue and you can also rock and rub over that area. So this is just delivering really specific uh, vibration. It's still more of a gentle technique since the, then some of the other more direct techniques we'll use. So this is just a gentle technique to get and move around that scar tissue just using vibration. So this is the first um, most uh, gentle techniques of the more advanced techniques that I will show you and it's using vibration. 
So the second thing we can do is use roller massage. So this is a massage roller and we're gonna think of our massage directions with the roller. It can be back and forth or it can be up and down. So you can roll back and forth across the entire breast in the upper pole of the breast. You can roll up and down in between both of the breasts to get both of the breast tissue at the same time. If you have more breast tissue, you can roll over one side of the breast tissue and you can roll up and down from below um, the breast itself up into the breast tissue and you can roll all the way up along the outside of the breast from the side. So you need to have your surgeon's permission before you do these deeper techniques of massage. People will have a scar here. They might have more of a lollipop scar. They might have a scar around the areola. So make sure that you are authorized to do scar tissue work before you start doing some of these deeper techniques. So let's look at the scoop technique. So we can take this apart and use this as a scoop. So this is a more targeted technique. Often people will have scar tissue here. Um, you might have some scar tissue down here. Wherever you feel like there's a firm area that you want to loosen up, this is a scoop. So we're thinking just like we're scooping ice cream and we're getting underneath that piece of scar tissue and scooping it, scooping it, scooping on the top of it. Just trying to move that area of scar tissue around in whichever different directions you want scooping it around. So be more tender around, if you're thinking of scooping in your recent scar incision area, definitely ask your massage therapist, when is the right time to do that? And then, so you can do, the scooping can be wherever it seems like the scar is restricted and then you're gently scooping it, or you can scoop towards the direction of the axilla. And scooping is really going to be something that you need a little bit of lotion or lubrication. Um, so whatever body lotion you like, whatever oil you like, I use jojoba oil in the office, but whatever lotion that you like, your skin has to be lubricated um, and it'll be much easier to do that scooping motion with a little bit of lubrication. And then finally, um, some vibration techniques that we can use. One that I like um, that's more beginning, if you just wanted to say, how do I address my entire breast with just vibration, stationary vibration, and you can turn it on and then just have it start vibrating in an area where you start at the 12 o'clock and then you can just move around the breast and leave it on for a few seconds to 30 seconds in each place, mm -hmm. and then end up at the axilla. And then just move the vibration into the axilla. So you start at like 11 o'clock or 12 o'clock, and then you just roll all the way around the breast tissue with vibration, and then you end in the axilla. Another thing that you can do, especially if you have some lubrication, is to just move the vibration slowly from the midline of your body, from the sternum all the way to the axilla. And this is how your body's lymphatic system is moving the fluid as well. So you are helping if you're going in the direction of lymphatic drainage to help your body drain the lymphatic fluid and then you're adding the wonderful addition of vibration and then if you wanted to just end and have the vibration just sit there on the lymph nodes at the end of the massage. So this is my quick video kind of showing you some of the advanced techniques that I'll use. Um, we looked at a couple different ways we could use vibration and a couple different ways we could use um, a rolling massager and then some ways we could use this instrument assisted soft tissue mobilization either with vibration or um, just with the scoop technique with this tool. So I hope that this helps you and gave you some ideas. Again, this should be used in between your professional visits and I'll invite you to um, download and print a bunch of copies of the rubric for self-massage and then you can keep a record of each and every self-massage you have and your progress as you heal.
Have a good day.